gonna hear you. Mm. Okay. What's up, MD Nation? What's got good? D-Lo and you got, got Mocha. Mocha. Y'all know how we do. And today we're gonna be coming with a little bit something a little different than we usually do. Mm. Um, usually we drop skits, uh, challenges, all different types of videos, but today we're gonna do spiritual talks. And we're just gonna be talking about all different types of things. I wanna know how much indigos are really out there like ourselves. And the indigo can be many different things. But to me, an indigo is someone who's seeking knowledge, someone who's seeking enlightenment. You know, what do you think an indigo is? Basically someone who is, they're basically are like outcasts in this world who are asking themselves like, what, why am I here? I have like, I have something more to conquer in life. Yeah, so if you're that kid and you, you're at school and you feel a little uncomfortable, and if you're at work and you're like, why am I here? If you're just regular waking up out the bed and you're just like, why am I here? I feel like there's way, there's a way stronger purpose of me being a human being on this earth, not to just wake up and just get money. If you're like that, then you are an indigo child and you are at the right place in my You are also free spirited, don't forget that. Yes, you're also free spirited. You're also, free -spirited. You're also what, what she said, you're also that. So you're at the right place. We are all here together. And we just want to know how much of y'all are out there. So today, the topic will be school. How the government controls our minds. First thing, school is a setup. Why is school a setup? So many different reasons. Go ahead, tell me. Because they put things in our heads in order to basically distract us from what is, you know, reality, what is actually going on around us. Yeah, so school is a setup. It's just like, why do we go to school? Like, really think about it. Like, it doesn't really help us out in life. Elementary is a setup. Middle school is a setup. High school is a setup. College is damn sure a setup. That's the worst setup of all time. That's the worst setup of all, of all setups. College. The Come biggest on. scammers ever. Yeah, like, little do you know, go the government is the biggest scamming squad of all time. So y'all scammers, they think y'all scamming. Y'all not scamming like the government is scamming. You take thousands of money from us out of our pockets just to receive a degree. That's not guaranteed basically what we went to school for. Like, I know a lot of homeless people out there that have masters, have doctorials, have a lot of things like that. Yeah, that's crazy. Like, you pretty much telling me I gotta pay all this. All, one, I'm gonna be 120 thousand dollars in debt just to go to just to go to school, get a piece of paper that says congratulations, you have graduated from his or he or her did this. And you're not even 100 percent 100 sure that you're gonna get a job off of that paper. That Maybe just, a job, but not the the not career the job, you not want, the career not the that career you want. Field. Yeah, like yeah. you're not 100 percent sure that you're gonna get that job. So pretty much, I just wasted all my money. Now I'm gonna be in debt for the rest of my life. Paying and even, off. And even if I do get that job. I'm not. Sh I'm still gonna be in debt. So the money that I do make from that job, I'm gonna have to give y'all that money back plus more, just for getting the job. So pretty much, I'm getting scammed either way it goes. Like, mm -hmm. it's a setup. It's literally a setup. College is the worst setup, but even even regular school for kids is a setup because what they're teaching you in there does not help you out in the real world. Like I, I went to school my whole life. Once I became a grown man, it literally changed. Like school didn't help me out in the real world at all. It might have helped me count money. That's it. Like, Still really, had questions. Yeah, like, like okay, so where did I come from? Like, uh, why, yeah. why do I have these emotions? Like, they're not telling you anything about yourself. Yeah. They're saying everything they've done and they've accomplished. They're not talking about you know anything that would really benefit us in life. Really, my worst subject growing up was history because I hated history just because I was always like, what the hell is history? This is clearly not real history because when school teaches you history, they don't teach you what really happened from day one. That's real history. Like, that's what they should be teaching you in school. What really happened from day one? How the world first started? Why are we here? That's what how they... are we st why, How do we start being controlled? Maybe? Yeah, like, they don't teach you none of that. They just teach you from when they want you to know what really happened. Like, their history, pretty much. White people's history. That's what they really teach you. Like, they teach you the, the beginning of their time. Not the beginning of time, period. They, t they teach you the beginning of European time. Before they started... Like, they, they teach us the beginning of their success in being yeah, the leaders. Pretty much. Like, Christopher Columbus found this land, this United States. But they don't teach you that, oh, he actually didn't find it. He stole it from Native America or whoever he stole it from. Because I wasn't paying attention to be honest, because I didn't like history. So whoever he stole it from, he stole it. And, oh, magically we're here now, pretty much. Like, no. They don't teach you the beginning of time. They don't teach you where everything really came from. They don't really teach you anything but their own European culture. And they're teaching all different type of cultures that, like that's the real truth when it's not. 
Okay. They're doing all this basically. Um, they're distracting us from yeah. reality, which causes our pineal gland to, to shrink. shrink in that then the, our pineal gland basically helps us out in order to like see so, reality, see through so people. Let me let me tell y'all what the pineal gland is for those who don't know. Um, the pineal gland is a, is a gland inside of your brain. It's the strongest gland of all time. It's the strongest gland of every single living thing inside the world. Every single thing has a pineal gland. Every dog, every animal, every plant has a pineal gland. When you're a kid, you're born with a bigger pineal gland. Kids have larger pineal glands than adults. You're supposed to be born with a huge pineal gland, but how the world has started and how they done corrupted everything, your pineal gland is shrunken and shrunken and shrunken. things in the air. Yeah, just so. So when you're a kid, your, your, your pineal gland is bigger than an adult. So how it shrinks is through the foods we eat, through the pollution in the air, really the, the stuff that you intake inside of your body, it shrinks and shrinks and shrinks your pineal gland to your 100 years old, or if you live that long, however long you live, your pineal gland will be so small. Like your, your pineal gland is pretty much your soul and your consciousness. So really what the government wants you to do, they want to shrink in that. They want to eliminate our consciousness. Yes, they want to eliminate all consciousness, period. That's what they want to eliminate. They just want you to know what they are teaching you. They don't want you to know what's really inside of your brain that you only use 10% of. So clearly there's way more to unlock. Clearly humans have way more power than what we think. Clearly, like it's obvious. For all the people who aren't open-minded, I look down upon y'all, but it's just like, it's right here in your face. Like it's not that hard to see clearly their face. It's gonna be scared. Y'all have to take a chance. Like yeah. people are so afraid to know the truth. So like, don't be afraid like don't, just because it's alien to you just because it's different doesn't mean it's the truth don't judge like, yeah like it's the take truth take a chance and then y'all might really start feeling some type of way because i used to be like it's be like like jada smith now i used to call them weird until i start really listening to what they were saying and i was like wow like this actually changed the way i feel inside yeah, see, i'm sorry i'm more positive than i was when i was more blinded and in my next video i'm going to get deeper into what the pineal gland really really is and what's located inside the pineal gland because it's not just the pineal gland, it's what's located inside the pineal gland. But that's a deeper topic that we're gonna get into in our next video. Mm -hmm. They wanna shrink in your consciousness. They don't want you to succeed. They don't want you on your own path. Anymore. Yeah, like they want you to succeed their way. They don't want you to succeed the conscious way, the, the natural way, pretty much. They wanna give you a Bible, they wanna give you books, and they want you to read it, and they want you to follow it every single day. They expect way. you to follow it too, yeah. or like all these doctors that are, like Dr. Sebi, is it Sebi? I forgot how to pronounce his name, but they killed him because he was basically found the cure for cancer and all that other stuff. Really? Like, it, yeah, basically, like if you if you're not on their road or path, then you ain't got a chance. To survive. Yeah. That's how they. So, that's how they feel. Kids like us, they look down upon kids like us because we're we're not going to college. We're trying to start our own brand. We're trying to do our own thing. They want you to abide by their rules, pretty much. And I'm sorry, I don't know about Mocha. But I know I'm not. I'm not abiding by no one's rules but my own. <laughs> I am my own teacher. I am my own man. And I will always be my own man. And this is my best friend right here. She gonna be her own woman, whether she likes it or not, right? <laughs> Anyways, <laughs> all right. We're gonna get deeper into our next video. Make sure y'all like and comment. Like and subscribe. Yes, comment. subscribe. Make sure y'all subscribe. If you're new, please subscribe. We drop all types of fire all the time. We're not gonna be done doing skits. We're just gonna come out with more spiritual talks we just want to talk things that get, show our personality yeah just things that show our personality and just we want to get to know our subscribers a little bit more so if y'all got any questions y'all want to ask us mm -hmm. let us know if you got any different topics you want us to talk about let us know um and that's it <laughs> oh no that's not it make sure y'all go subscribe to mocha's new channel oh, yeah. at i am mocha renee she's going to be dropping all different types of vlogs and challenges she loves these challenges and stuff yeah so we're going to lay her her channel control all the challenges in the vlogs and my channel will do the skits and, the, and everything else that y'all want to see. And is there anything else? Hmm. Oh, one more thing. Thank y'all for a thousand subscribers. I never got to let y'all know that. Thank you so much for a thousand subscribers. I really appreciate that. We want K now. Yeah, 1K in this thing. Really, we at 1.5K right now. I just never got a chance to say thank y'all. So I thank y'all so much. Um, this channel is only for love and enlightenment. And it's all good vibes around here. So appreciate y'all and we out. I really hate to break it to you, but your life's being played. You have not witnessed the world cause you stuck in the face.